you want to know my top 21 polishes of 2021, just keep watching. Okay, so this video is a collab with some other YouTubers, so be sure to check out the description box to see their videos that they created and their favorite nail polishes. But before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Terry, and I do nail art videos, nail swatch videos, as well as I have a press on nail business. So if you're interested in checking that out, check out the description box. I would love for you to sign up for my email list. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, hit that red subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed it. And also let me know your favorite nail polishes of 2021 down in the comment section. So let's get started with the video. Darla by Zoya. This was released in their Dreaming collection, which came out in summer of 2021. I just love this nice, cool tone Gerber Daisy Pink. The formula was beautiful. It was completely opaque in two coats. It's a bright polish, but it's not quite neon. Um, it does dry to that, you know, semi-matte finish, but it's just an amazing, glossy, formula and I really like this pink. Also from the Zoya Dreaming Summer 2021 collection is Summer. This was my favorite in this collection. It is a mermaid shimmer featuring flashes of green and gold in a blue base. So the base is like jelly so you can really see those different mermaid shimmers in here this one would be opaque in two to three coats i applied two in this video and it was really nice um, but i just love this color and this polish is a lighter version of another zoya polish i'm going to show you at the end that just released in their dazzle collection but i really like this one for the summer definitely reminds me of a mermaid my next favorite of 2021 is from Zoya's Sunset Palette collection that released in like the fall and it's called Honey and it's just this amazing yellow cream y'all know yellow creams are notorious for terrible formulas but this formula was so smooth and I didn't even use one of their Z wide brushes but I got this yellow completely opaque in two coats it's literally so amazing just a dreamy formula and I did a lot of nail art with this collection. I really liked the entire Sunset Palette collection and um, it also is really good for gradients. So if you want that sunset gradient, I definitely would suggest picking up some polishes in this collection. It was a really good one. So the last polish I have to show you by Zoya was just released in their Dazzle collection which was their holiday 2021 collection it was full of these polishes with these gold shimmers inside and this was my favorite it definitely reminds me of the darker version of summer that i showed you earlier but it just glows off the nails you see blue and green and gold and it's just so pretty i love that one next up is china glaze so china glaze head to mojitos is from their havana nights collection that released in summer of 2021, they described this as a turquoise neon cream, but it's more like a light emerald in my opinion. This is one of those colors that it's really hard to photograph or show in a video. It just doesn't come across for some reason. It's one of those polishes you really have to see in person, but this is a really great one with a great formula. So I have three polishes from China Glaze Autumn Spice Fall 2021 collection to show y'all. Um, I love this collection by China Glaze, specifically because I was able to use all these colors for water marbling, and I think they look really great, and it just really reminded me of the fall. It has this like gorgeous mustard yellow, which is first up, and... The formula was good, but it wasn't quite as good as Honey, which was that yellow by Zoya that I showed y'all earlier. Um, I did need three coats. I used two coats for the swatches, but it definitely needs three coats to be completely opaque and to get rid of those streaks. But really nice polish. Looks great for nail art. You'll see that I did a lot of nail art with this collection. So the next one is Spice, Spice to Meet You. And... This is this beautiful pumpkin-y orange, beautiful cream formula, 
completely opaque and almost one coat, but you, I do suggest using two coats for this one. It's so pretty, definitely reminds you of fall, it has an amazing creamy formula. I love creams like this. Just a really good staple to have in your collection. And again, this collection water marbles really well. I did water marbles on my natural nails. I also did some water marble press on nails with this collection, which is available on my press on nail website if you're interested in these. The last polish I'm going to show you all from this collection is called Modern Auburn. And this is not really a color I'd wear on its own, but like I said I had to include this one with my other two favorite polishes from this collection because I did a lot of nail art with this collection. Yeah, it's just a really nice deep brick red, great formula, completely opaque in two coats, and really great for nail art. The last China Glaze polish I have for you is 24 Karat Noir, and this is from the Jules Royale collection that released for their Holiday 2021 collection. And it's this really beautiful greenish gold, like antique gold with some green in it. It's so pretty. This was a surprising favorite from this collection for me. I just, I love the color. I don't typically like gold polishes, but I think because it leans more green, I really like it. I have one polish from Orly, and I had to pick up this entire collection because I saw, saw so many great swatches of this collection. But Orly's Electric Escape, which came out in the summer of 2021, it has this really beautiful green and just like the china glaze green that i showed you this one doesn't want to show up really well on camera and the picture i'm showing you is a water marble i did with this green as well as the lighter green in this collection and i just really like how unique the color is and it is different from um head to mojitos from china glaze they're two different greens but still very unique green creams with great formulas Okay, so I have one polish by Dimension Nails. So Halloween Hermit Crab is a deep shimmery metallic like orange. This polish is a one coater and Dimension Nails has just the amazing, the most amazing formulas for her nail polishes. I have a lot of Dimension Nails that I have not worn yet that I purchased and I'm really excited to explore Dimension Nails more in 2022. So the next brand I have is KB Shimmer and First up is Hidden Potential. So Hidden Potential is like literally probably in my top five nail polishes of the year. I love this one. It's from their Enchanted Forest collection, which was their spring collection that released earlier in 2021. Hidden Potential is a true like multi-chrome that has like so many different shifts and looks so different in different lightings. I, I just love it. It's like so magical when it's on your nails because you just never know what color it's going to be. I love this one. So speaking of magical polishes, Frequent Flyer is a topper that you can wear over different colors. And if you wear it over a lighter color, like a white or like a, a lighter neutral color, it has this really pretty like pink, yellow, orange shift to it, which is really hard to show on camera. But in the picture, you can really see like all the different like pastel shifts to this topper. Next is Take a Bow. This is from KB Shimmer's In Good Spirits collection, which is their holiday um, slash winter collection. Take a Bow is this jade green nail polish with hollow. It also has color shifting shimmer in it. So you can really see the green and then the light lime green in it. So it's a very gorgeous color. It's KB Shimmer, so you know it has a really nice formula, completely opaque in two coats. The last polish is called What's Poppin'. Well, the last polish by KB Shimmer is called What's Popping. And it's kind of similar to the green, but in a pink. <laughs> There's like pink with gold color shifting shimmer in it completely opaque in two coats it also has some hollow in it and I just really liked how the gold stood out in the pink polish so very similar polishes just two different colors really liked these 
Knees Up by Butter London is a red metallic nail polish. And I'm aware that this polish was not released in 2021, but I'm on their PR list and they sent me this polish in 2021. So I'm adding it in this video because this is a one coat red metallic polish and it's just so pretty. You really can't see how pretty this is on swatches in my opinion, but it looks so nice in person. <laughs> Blue Lagoon by ILNP is from the Tropics collection, which I believe came out in the summer of 2021. I feel like I have a lot of jelly blues with like the blue to green shifting shimmers in it. This one reminds me of Zoya Summer, which I showed y'all at the beginning of the video, but I just love these kind of mermaid polishes. So I have to include this one in my top polishes of 2021. Really great formula, looks really amazing on the nails. I love the shift to this one. Next is Skyline by ILNP. And Skyline is from the Manhattan collection, which was full of ultra holographic nail polishes. Um, this was part of their fall 2021 collection. Really nice formula. Really deep, dark blue that reminds you of the Skyline, which is why it's called Skyline. Really good formula. Y'all know, if y'all been following me for any amount of time, that I love holographic polishes. And this one is an ultra hollow polish, so definitely had to include this one in my top 21 of 21. Next is Trick or Treat by ILNP. And this is from their Haunted Collection, which is the Fall 2021 Nail Polish Collection. This was a surprising favorite for me. I don't typically like glitter polishes, but this one was really unique to my collection. I really liked um, the orange base. It's like a really bright orange, but it also has that metallic gold glitter in it. Completely opaque in two coats. Midnight Kiss is a part of the At Midnight collection, which is the newest collection that released from ILNP, their winter 2021 collection. It's this beautiful cobalt blue, and I just don't think my pictures do it justice, but this blue like basically glows off the nails. I do think you need three coats for this one, but it's just, it's so pretty, and the shimmer inside it just really stands out. So... Definitely love this deep cobalt blue. And the last polish I have is Grand Entrance by ILNP. Again, from the At Midnight collection. This polish is a gunmetal gray metallic with the red to black color shift. It definitely reminds me of Eclipse. And y'all know Eclipse is basically the first red to black color shifting polish that we saw. I really loved Eclipse, and this is just a different version of it, so I had to include this in this video. So that's it. Those are my favorite nail polishes of 2021. Don't forget to tell me your favorite nail polishes of 2021 down in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.